all right so welcome back to the channel i'm king of Adden. in today's video we're back with xcom chimera squad uh, we're gonna go right back into that mission i did undo the game like closed out of it then realized i had a little more time to record i don't need mastercrafted assault rifles i think the shotguns at this no i think the who's on the team right now we already have pistols i guess shotguns would make the most sense shotguns are submachine guns i'm gonna go with shotguns because claymore and axiom have been on the team more than terminal and shelter but there's also torque as a submachine gun so I'll, I'll go for the submachine guns then do i have torque i do yeah she's in training and i have no one else to help her actually so this is kind of pointless because i have two people in spec ops right now at least but i'll probably take terminal out of spec ops and start putting her in the uh in the assembly line all right no i'm gonna go ahead and do this mission because it'll keep the unrest down this is the story mission also I have a lot of different rounds and stuff to pick from now uh trank round and it's a grenade one of these things i did want to bring plus 20 percent chance to crit plus one damage on crit hits that would be pretty good to have he has them oh he has the ap rounds you have trank rounds at this point i don't think we need a huge amount more of uh intel so it'd be okay if i turn this off and that's what i'm gonna go for when i turn it off i get rid of the trank rounds for the talent rounds doesn't matter if we get the kill anymore as much or if it's a kill or a capture we still don't have one more stock or anything like that for his weapon though so that's the only thing but it's pretty much the same thing as last time so there's not much to change there Progeny were spotted sniffing around this old gene therapy clinic. A city archive says this used to be used as a front for sectoid research. Sectoids doing research? Or doing research on sectoids? I hope it was doing research on sectoids, because sectoids doing research is weird. That's too much brain power for those things to have. Uh, units automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. All units enter and get plus three mobility. Uh, successful shots will crit he's pretty likely to have a successful shot but i have axiom lead through the door do minus one damage during the breach i don't want to spread people out in here i'll give shelter this one and claymore this one let's do this Follow me. putting uh putting shelter first to let me kind of dig my teammates out of the turn order and bring them up by pushing other people back down so that's another ability that I could do too. I'm gonna use Dazzle though, because we have three enemies that are gonna shoot at us. Dazzle's gonna disorientate, it looks like at least two of them, or at least I hope the two that are gonna shoot at me. Um, You're gonna crit, so you're gonna kill whatever you do. Well, you won't kill that. You would kill this though. Cool. Ew. I think I stuck in the wall. Anyways, yeah, that disorientate I was hoping was gonna get more people, but it looks like it wasn't able to. Now he has a 37% chance to crit, which is pretty hard to just have. I looked at the crit chance and not even the likelihood that I would hit, but we are gonna take a lot of damage in this point. Yeah. But these two are going to be in Overwatch now, so maybe it should leave them at the bottom of the turn. Because the longer they're in Overwatch, the more the enemies have to be careful. And it's Overwatch all over the place and not just on the... On a certain angle. Can I, hello? Can I play the game? Uh, Alright, that was weird for a second. I couldn't do anything for real. Hit number two with this, not seven. At nine, I want to hit. Yeah, all right, number two. Oop, forgot that ends his turn. I was forgetting about that. I thought that was a civilian or something he just shot. Uh, glad it wasn't, but still. I don't know how you have an 83% chance on that. We'll go for it, anyways. 
You can do lightning cans. I'll take it. That takes them out. Now we can move in here, and as long as the number, if the number two person tries to take a step before they shoot, then we'll have two people taking shots at them. Only needed the one. The number two, the well, the, I guess the number three at that point moves, taking a shot by him. So now we just have this number three dude who's left. So we've been managing this pretty well. They haven't had an actual They're turn coming. yet. You psycho. Want some. I could use running gun to get a little closer for this shot. And there is cover for for this shot right up here too. So ready for this. It's a good thing this one uh, has a cooldown and not just once permission. That makes it far more useful than the other stuff. It's a low chance to hit, but we might as well take the shot. And this is gonna move him out too, actually. Right? So I don't make it for everybody else to shoot him as well. Because now I can march him all the way up to here. In order to take this shot. And I just have to hope that it's gonna actually hit. But we have a hundred percent chance. A good chance to crit. 71% chance to crit. Yeah. Clearing the board. So we're gonna start seeing a lot more crits from him. It's probably gonna equal more kills from him as well. More word from city archives. This place used to monitor Archon patrols. <laughs> no, they used to run the Archon patrols from the back rooms. Hilarious. I don't know if the Archon, I still don't know if the Archons are alive or if they're robots. Cause like you said, one said monitor, one said control. Action was in the in the invasion. He was like a bad guy at first, so he knows what was going on on the inside. So, just interesting. Keep behind me. Throwing grenade. With a few weapons that were able to be stunned. Can't tell if they were, no, I don't think they were one of them because he doesn't have one in his hands. I think the Acolytes and the Sorcerers use only Psionics. They're already stunned. Go for a land shot on you and deal some more damage. You can take one of you, you're stunned, but we have almost no chance to hit them. Let's try and shoot something else then. We don't have to worry about the stun enemy right now. I don't think they'll get their turn, is what that means. Now they're stunned, and we only have a 50% chance to hit them. We can stun them too. We're still gonna get shot at though. I think don't think I oh we did. Okay, cool. I don't put Zephyr on the team in a while, also. So that's something I should probably look into. I know I have her as an available like person. She's in spec ops. That's what she's been doing. Okay. Anything grouped up? We could go for both of them. And we're still in decent cover here too. I didn't use psych up first or adrenal surge. I still don't think I've done it. There you see. But he just wiped out that whole area. Although they did panic him. Um. Okay, cool. If we had to stock them, I'd have still did damage though. But I think we might lose his next turn because of that. Who's next up? 84? That's not bad. Gotcha. And then who's number two? Well, I can use subdue actually use it to take out the number nine person which is also going to put him in overwatch he is being flanked by the number four person though but we're going to have claymore who can deal with that maybe i'm not sure what that does because that activates on the thralls turn and not the sorcerer's turn that will not end the turn Hopefully they push towards the number eight. Oop. 
forgot about that. That's not. Uh, that was weird. Okay. This is gonna go off before either of their turns. If I kill her, or if I do this to her, then the damage is gonna shoot to the number seven person. Oop, forgot. To, I should have thrown the grenade first. I didn't think about it until I was in the middle of throwing that one. With the number, no, I should have switched spots with her because I just put a fucking uh, bomb at her feet. Could teleport with them. Places. And then shoot at the number last guy, yeah. And that takes them out. Worry about? Interesting. I thought they would shoot the damage. Silence. I'm glad she didn't teleport somewhere else and do that. Because I know what if, if she did it like parallel to uh Claymore and XM, she could have both of them. I know it passes through kind of like the land shot. Think fast. Okay, so it's a killing blow that she will shoot towards the thrall. Which is cool because that just gets technically blue blood got that kill, I guess. And then he's still gonna take this shot here and take her out. So yeah. didn't really save her. I think that was his last shot too, is why I did so much more damage. I think I took that in this City one. Archives confirms the tech in the next room could be used to control Archons. If you can recover the transmitter, we can counteract the control signal. Watch yourselves. And to think, I did not start my day expecting to face mind-controlled Archons. So they... So I guess they're mind-controlled robotic... Or bio-robotics, I guess that's how you would say that. Anyways... Damn, I was saying something else. Oof. I'll probably put it in when I edit this video what I was saying. If I remember. Clearing the path. I know I will forget too. Damn, it's really gonna bother me. That's the whole that's the rest of my day ruined. Oh, his shot. Okay, they're ruptured now too. Some of them are ruptured from his uh from the breach point. Because when when Claymore uses a breaching charge on a wall, it has the chance to rupture enemies near that wall, meaning we'll deal bonus damage to them. And I don't know how they missed Axiom, but whatever. Although I think, well, no, because his mobility is high, but that doesn't mean his evasion is high. The progeny are here for that transmitter. Grab it and get out of here. So, first thing I want to do is drop a bomb on someone. Drop a grenade on somebody. Grenade out. I'll drop it on them and I'll put down his uh, shrapnel bomb in this area. Probably get around the five and the eight. That way these steps are kind of blocked off for them to just walk down. Although they probably won't walk down them anyways. I actually put it on the five and the six. Cause that sounds like gonna come earlier. So we might be shooting at them more. And if they're ruptured, they'll take more damage. And sticker grenade is still on cooldown. So I could drop another one right here. And have the rest of them be affected by it too. And he died from the poison, so that's pretty good. That one went off. The other bomb? Cool. So you almost took out both of them just from that. Uh, you can use your adrenal surge now. I think in the last episode, I just talked about how I always want to psych him up at the beginning of the match. Or the beginning of the uh, mission and then didn't do it to the last one. 
I'm the number two person first. Crash in the party. I could have used subdue that. No, because I wouldn't have got another move to use subdue. The and then you Excellent. can use subdue on the number four person. Right. Can you reach number three with subdue? Yeah. So we can subdue number four then. Subdue the target. Now you can fracture first. Spectral copy. I still don't know how long this lasts because I usually do it near the end of a mission. And then once he's out, I usually don't do or it doesn't take too much longer. I don't think I wanted to do that. And then you can use soul fire on. Can you still see the number two? Yeah, you can. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to switch to number nine. I think it was or three, the source or whatever. I didn't want to switch to the source and then have it be like, uh, you can't see the number two person now. Kill the soul fire editor, though. Push her back down. He's stuck where he is, but that's not too bad. Heads up. Cause he's probably yeah still Let's gonna kill from where he's standing. I don't know why I paused so long before I started the next part of that sentence. But whatever. I don't know how we can't see them either. If you can step out and line up this shot, this land shot. At this point. Let's see. I should just secure this thing so we can start leaving. It says acquire this device and protect the Archon. So we got the device. Now we probably have to get them out of here. The Archon should be able to make that. Never mind. Oh no, he's just flying on his own. Way. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, you're probably going for the decoy. We want to start moving people back towards this exit now. Um, I'll put them right here. And where are they? they only have one entrance point, it looks like. So I can just have people overwatching this door. Oh, I could have had him running gun back here. He can't get that far either. Something going on in Rolla. Whole bunch of sirens going off. It usually is, but still a lot more than usual. You can teleport with Claymore. Trading places. Uh he's not gonna be in acid though, is he? I don't think so. And now you can't see anybody else to do anything, so I just end your turn. But that gets Claymore closer to where we need to go. And this is a blue blood's turn, right? I'll just run him down to here. Now we're still going to be in Overwatch and has that shot with us. But I think only two people are in Overwatch right now. Be ready for anything. It looks like there's another breach point that I missed. I don't know where it is though. Gives us voice. No. Oh, I forgot about the number two dude who's already here. Uh, let's see. You can use Sticky Bomb. You can only see the number two person. We use sticky bomb sticky on them. Bomb. Out. Oh, that's terrible. I forgot about that. Got the hostile. It's like the time I don't want that to occur. I'll move him down to here. So on his next turn, he'll be able to leave. Her power guides me. Okay, cool. So he didn't take too much damage from that. But he's gonna. Oh, he's all the way at five rage. I was just gonna take a shot, though. I don't think he usually doesn't do that. That's pretty good. So I was gonna say he's in a pretty good position to leave. So that rage is not gonna help us out at all. You can get down to here. I'm 
tell to come over here and drop the motile inducer on axiom just so we can take axiom out and then everyone else is going to come out right afterwards Make a hole. Or we'll take Move. yeah we're going to take Move. everybody out and then after the turn ends we'll take claimer out too i said the turn in i thought it was going to say more reinforcements are coming in i didn't think it was done already but everyone's gonna leave out now oh forgot about you you don't get to come with us you're gonna cease to exist this probably as soon as he steps out this door honestly but yeah there's no way this would exist if it wasn't magic so psionics is not psionics basically Because I can understand like astral projecting, but then he would be leaving his other body. So if his body was stuck stationary and then he was projecting his his mental image or something like that out into the world and just couldn't take damage or something like that. But uh, not generating a physical body that can jump around, I guess, because it is a physical body since it can't get hit by bullets. Subject approached Officer Cross, stating he was ready to become one of the angels, that he would bring purple fire to the in-between. Subject pulled an object identified as a Psy Amp, referred to Attachment 3A, whereupon Officer Cross attempted to subdue the subject. It was at this point that Officer Cross and myself were lifted approximately 10 feet into the air by presumed psionic means from 31 PD Incident Report, 2040, January 29th. That's interesting. Outstanding. City 31's Archons are no longer in danger of progeny domination. Uh, more than once, progeny fling the scene seems to vanish and trace. Figure out why they managed to do this. Progeny operatives woven the sign of energies into increased armor for their minions. Or the progeny have developed tactics focused on using flashbang grenades. Uh, don't want them to have more, uh, armor because that means more health which means harder to kill but the flashbangs they might be disorientating us which actually won't be too much of a big deal since shelter has the a bit that ring ability where if anyone gets close to him they're going to be cured of their sonic effects we got this twice in a row well at least i think two episodes in a row at least shelter's going to stay on i want to take claymore off for torque and then Claymore for now can help with this assembly, but he's, he's probably going to come back out too. And we can't do anything. This is only mission. So actually that's where I'm going to have to end the video. I thought it was going to give us uh, just a situation so we could save whatever just happened. Uh, but thanks for watching. This episode was actually surprisingly short. I thought it was going to be longer since it was a, a purple mission, like the end of an investigation. But we kind of breezed through that mission. So I think I'm getting pretty good at this game. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, thanks for watching. You can follow my other socials in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share with your friends. All this stuff helps me grow the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.